Well, as the nursing home scandal continues to make headlines across many states, one nurse is coming forward to share her experience while working at one of these facilities in New York City. One America's Jack Posobiec has more. We are very excited to welcome here to One America News. It's Patrice Russo, and she is a frontline registered nurse who served in New York during the peak of the coronavirus pandemic. Patrice, thank you so much for coming on with us today. Thank you so much for having me. And now I understand that you actually served in a nursing home, one of the nursing homes that we're talking about so much these days. Yeah, I was right in New York City. I was in Manhattan and the nursing home I was in was about eight floors. So it was a pretty large nursing home. And now you're not from New York originally. You actually signed up to volunteer to go, is that right? Yeah, so the Governor Cuomo put out a call like Friday afternoon and Sunday morning I was there and I traveled from Massachusetts alongside with a thousand other nurses that traveled from all over the United States to help with the pandemic. One of the things that we learned is that Governor Cuomo instituted an executive order stating that patients who were infected would essentially be placed into nursing homes with people who had not yet been infected. Is that something that you saw? Yeah, that's that's exactly what happened. And I was unaware of the order at the time. I just, you know, one day I went to work and I, one of the patients that we got in was from being discharged from a hospital and came in as a COVID positive, but recovering patient. And then that's when it first started. And I, we started seeing it more and more and they would literally just bring them in and they would be placed in the same suite as a healthy non-COVID patient. And that is very interesting. Now, one of the other aspects, and I think got a lot of attention in the press, we certainly covered it, I covered it, was the opening of the Javits Center, that facility to be used. Uh, at first it wasn't for COVID patients and it became for COVID patients. Uh, the same with the USNS Comfort. I'm a former Navy officer, I know, uh, know some people who served on the Comfort. Uh, was there any transferring that you saw of patients from, uh, you know, from the nursing home to the hospital and then to either of those facilities? No, the, the patients from what I saw while I was there, the patients from the hospitals were transferred to nursing homes. And there, it, as we just said a second ago, space wasn't an issue, whether it was in the facility I was in or in another facility, it just wasn't an issue overall. The hospitals themselves were, they had a space issues, but the actual more longer term facilities or transferring patients to designated that didn't need very intense care, maybe on a lesser level, there was not an issue on space. And now we're, we're hearing reports that this happened, not just in New York, but Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Michigan. And how do you feel of hearing about the fact that this was the order going into it, just on a, on a personal level? Um, you know, probably on a personal level, I just, I really like to just focus on the fact that I, at the time, I just wanted to do the best that I could as a nurse. Um, it's, of dis it's disheartening to think that somebody made that decision because it seems like pretty easy uh, common sense that you don't put a healthy person next to a sick person, especially when it, it's a very contagious virus and it, it's very scary for us all. And, you know, there's a lot of statistics out there now that we have that shows majority of deaths from corona are in nursing homes or majority of people getting corona are from people that they live with and these people live with each other so of course that it's going to spread and it just it from a personal standpoint i don't think it was a very good idea is there anywhere that people can go to follow you and follow your work yeah, um, you can follow me on Twitter at Patrice A. Pylon. Um, I also, I own a medical spa in Massachusetts and it's peakimagemedspa.com. All right, we'll put that up. Patrice, thank you so much for coming on with us. I really appreciate it here at One American News. Thank you so much, Jack. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.